Hey everyone, welcome to the Battlefords Provincial Park. We are here for the weekend and we can't wait to show you around. If you're new around here, my name is Becky. I travel with my husband Travis and our daughter Teddy. So this summer we're going to focus on just a little mini series of some of Saskatchewan's provincial parks. And we have some plans to be in a few different provincial parks this summer. So I'm going to just make little videos because when I go to a park for the first time, I never really know like what are the best areas or where you should camp or what's even at the park. So I really like looking up videos that have that information. So I hope that this can be helpful to you if you are planning on coming to the Battlefords Provincial Park. I spent so much time on the Sask Parks website looking up the sites here and looking at all the pictures at all the different sites and I thought I had a really good one uh, but I'll show you around it's a bit tight and it said it was good for a trailer up to 32 feet and ours is I think 25 and I don't know how you would get much longer on here but here's a look at our little site this is site 242 in the center loop we are jacked up really high here in the back Travis was cooking bacon at chin height out here this morning. And this is kind of it for the site. So, I mean, it's nice and treed, but yeah, not really ideal for leveling a camper and not super spacious. Some of these sites are very uh, Tunnel Mountain-esque if you've ever been to Banff. They're just like these pull-up ones. <laughs> When you come to the Battlefords Provincial Park, you will drive through Coshen if you're heading north. And there's a couple of must-dos when you come through Coshen, and one of them is to climb the steps to the lighthouse. So let's go. so lovely up here it's a great view the sun's in a nice spot and Teddy probably did half the stairs and we carried her half the way so that's pretty good maybe next year she'll do the whole thing okay so just in past the entrance gate is this little pull out which looks like it is a trailhead for all these little walks you can do in the park which I never knew about so you can see the distances here and all the di different little loops. Good morning everyone! We are back again today. We really filmed nothing yesterday. We have family uh, with a cabin close by so we actually spent the whole day at the cabin with family and had a really great day. But didn't have anything to do with the park so we didn't really feel much other than our end of the day lighthouse tour but we are actually at a beach in the park here called Robinson Bay it's a beautiful beach and we've just been hanging out here this morning it's really quiet and nice the water's nice and sandy and yeah just having a really nice morning on the lake which is exactly what we came here to do so been nice so far. We will try to show you around a little bit more of the park before we head out today, but for now we are just living the lake life and loving it. So the park is on Jackfish Lake and right now it's the 25th of June and the water here is beautiful so just enjoying the sun and the nice water and some fun with friends.
So I just did a little whip in here by the Jackfish Lodge. There's some seasonal campsites here as well as the lodge where you can stay and there's a restaurant and it's, it's also the golf like clubhouse where you can do a round of golf. And we are all packed up. Travis going to dump the sewer and stuff. I literally just came through like two little rows of trees and we're looking at the water. Just passing a picnic pavilion here that you can rent out. We've had many a family reunions inside that picnic pavilion so it's kind of nice to see it. And we're just going to head down to the main beach for a little while. camping but I also love the idea of a day use area setting up for the day enjoying the sun there's the playground and there's the Sask Adventures bouncy castle in the water okay we're doing it we paid for one hour on the big Sask Aquatic Adventure thing kids are already out here well, let's go see oh it is a, a real swim to get out there though Super proud of myself for making it across one of the rings and then my feet came out from under me and I honestly think it was the GoPro it chipped my tooth I feel a bit ridiculous that this happened to me while I was on a huge bouncy castle but yeah I guess <laughs> those are the things that happen anyways we've only got about 10 minutes left Teddy's gonna wait for a bit so I'm heading. The second must stop here in Koshin is at the dairy shop. Let's go get some treats. We went from ice cream to home, just like that. We had a great little weekend coming home with a little less tooth than we left with, but other than that, it was such a great weekend at the Battleford Provincial Park. I know I didn't really get to show too much of the park. We just uh, were really lucky to spend lots of time with family and friends, but hopefully it gave you a little bit of a look at the park if you've never been there before, or just a nice little video of us enjoying some time away for a weekend. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you again soon.